The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris is a novel based on a true story during the Holocaust. A young Jewish man named Lali and his love Gita are the main characters in the story. Their love throughout captivity will forever be remembered. Interview with Liz Sokolov, 21 February 2004. Would you tell me your name, please? My name is Liz Sokolov. Is that the name you were born with? No, I was born in Ludwig Eisenberg. What name are you known as? Lali. They call me Lali. Lali Sokolov, a Slovakian Jewish man, is evidently the protagonist in the novel The Tattooist of Auschwitz. Lali is first introduced to us in April of 1942 when he is forcibly escorted away from his home in Krompachi by the Nazis. He and his fellow captives were loaded upon cattle trucks and transported away to the Auschwitz concentration camp in Poland. While in Auschwitz-Birkenau, Lali managed to receive the role of the tattooist and was required to tattoo number codes on the left arms of all of the inmates. This stripped them of their natural identities. Lali always attempted to show compassion to the other prisoners while acting upon his daily procedure. It is during this painful process that Lali first met Gita, the woman who gradually became the love of his life. What was the name of your wife? Gita. Gita Sokolov. Where did you and Gita meet? Met in Auschwitz, Birkenau. And how did you meet? I was the tattooist, tattooer in Auschwitz, Birkenau. I tattooed her number on her left hand, and she tattooed her number in my heart. From their first introduction to each other, Lali and Gita had an instant connection. Using their relationship, Heather Morris clearly displays the endurance of love despite the direst of circumstances. Lali and Gita were living in the heaviest forms of persecution and were surrounded on a daily basis by abuse, starvation, and the death of their friends and family. Lali persistently risks his life for Gita by using his unique position as tattooist to arrange trading deals with some of the volunteer workers. Out of these trading deals, he would receive rations, goods, and medicinal supplies for Gita. Their love for one another continued to expand and gave them the strength needed to endure all of the challenges that Auschwitz had in store for them. Even when they were physically separated by the Nazi forces, Lali and Gita always persevered to locate each other again. Their loving relationship provided them with the hope needed to survive their imprisonment so that they could escape to freedom and be married one day. The Tattooist of Auschwitz takes place primarily within the Auschwitz concentration camp. The camp is separated into 40 large blocks which hold around 7,000 captives each. The prisoners are separated by their gender. Lali is granted their, his very own block to rest in because of his special position as the Tattooist. The other prisoners are given small cots to cram onto. The setting of Auschwitz is evil, glooming, and devastating. Auschwitz is known as the concentration camp of death. Lali understands that the camp only holds death and persecution within its walls when he witnesses the gassing of Jewish prisoners. One night, he manages to pick a flower that he plans to give to his love, Gita. By morning, the beautiful flower is wilted and dead. This imagery displayed that only death persists within the concentration camp. The novel's main antagonist, a Nazi guard named Beretsky, also shoots prisoners in front of Lali to exert his power over life and death. He gives Lali on edge by threatening his life, which creates a constant mental turmoil within Lali. In the novel The Tattooist of Auschwitz, Heather Morris presents the long-lasting emotional devastation caused by the Nazis during World War II. She displays this clearly when Lali revisits his childhood home only to find rubble, weedy gardens, and broken fences. This imagery clearly reflects Lali's inner brokenness, now his hope has been crushed to bits. The mental and emotional experiences he faced during persecution are still evident to this day. 24 years of age, when taken from my parents' home and transported like an animal, Unknown place. 
While World War II was taking place, the Nazi forces had taken many Jewish families out of their homes and treated them worse than that of how farm animals would have been treated, shipping them off to the Auschwitz concentration camp. Lolly was in fact one of the captives that was dispersed from his loving family members, stripped of his casual clothing, and ridded of his sentimental and religious belongings. His head was roughly shaved, changing that of his usual appearance, and his birth and family name were replaced by the five digits, 32407. Lolly wonders if he will, for the remainder of his life, be remembered only as the number code carved into his arm. Morris clearly displays how the name we are given at birth, the things that we truly love and believe in, and the society and culture that we live in, all help to sculpt who we really are in personality and identity. Using Lally's challenges within Auschwitz, Morris clearly displays how easily we can feel lost and insignificant when simple human rights are no longer applied to us. Each and every trauma the Nazis inflicted upon Lally left lifelong scars that made Lally who he is today. Morris demonstrates this on page 238. His memories of home have been tainted by his memories of war. Everything and everyone he carried, cared for is now only visible to him through glasses darkened by suffering and loss. However, Lolly manages to keep a glimpse of hope due to his relationship with Gita. Morris has clearly shown her readers how strong a person's will to survive can become with the motivation of their loved ones. Both Lolly and Gita held onto the possibility of them escaping the concentration camp and building a happy family together somewhere safe and peaceful. It isn't until Gita is physically separated from him that Lolly decides he must escape his confinement. His love for Gita gave Lolly the courage to escape through a weak point in the fence. He then traveled across the surrounding European countries to find her and rekindle their love. Lolly and Gita survived all of the hardships of Auschwitz, but lost many friends along the way. Gita once told Lolly, you will honor them by staying alive, surviving this place, and telling the world what happened here. Thanks to Heather Morris's novel, The Tattooist of Auschwitz, Lolly and Gita's love story throughout their imprisonment will be told on and on for generations. <laughs>